Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to find out the value of complex numbered exponential form that is i power i. How we will calculate? Let's start this video. So before that, you should be aware of what is iota. What is i? Iota. i is iota and when you are calculating complex roots or complex solution, then iota will come. So what is the value exactly? Iota is square root of negative 1 and its square is negative 1. So for any complex number z, I can write in the form of i theta or i x suppose. So I can write cos x plus i sin x. This is our Euler's identity. And second point is de Movi's theorem. What is that theorem? Cos x plus i sin x. If it is having power n, then we can write cos nx plus i sin nx. i sin nx. So let's start. See, base is iota and exponent is also iota. So let us find out the value of iota in terms of exponent form. So let me write e raised to the power, suppose I am putting x equal to pi. So that value will be cos pi plus i sin pi. Find out that value. This is minus 1 plus i times 0. Sin pi is 0. So minus 1. Let me find i pi over 2. So that value will be cos pi over 2 plus iota times sin pi over 2. Cos pi over 2 is 0. Sin pi over 2 is 1. That means it is i. So in place of base i, I will write e raised to the power i pi over 2. Because, see, you can see i pi over 2 is equal to i. So in base i raised to the power i, in base I will write e raised to the power i pi over 2. Let me write e raised to the power i pi over 2 whole power i. Now you can easily understand a raised to the power b raised to the power c can be written as a raised to the power bc. You can take the product in exponents, powers. So let me write this value will be equal to i pi over 2 times i. That means e raised to the power i square pi over 2. And as you know, iota I square is negative 1. So that answer will come out minus pi over 2. So i raised to the power i is e raised to the power minus pi over 2. Now, in most of the exams, I have seen it is asked in the form of hyperbolic functions. For this, there are four options, option A, B, C, D and every option you are having hyperbolic functions. So you have to know, means you should know that how to write e raised to the power minus pi over 2 in the form of hyperbolic. So let me write one formula that is cos hyperbolic, let me write here, cos hyperbolic x is e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2. And similarly, sin hyperbolic x is equal to e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2. So this is equation number 1 and second one is the second equation. If I will add 1 and 2, then I will get e raised to the power x. See, e raised to the power minus x and minus e raised to the power minus x will get cancelled out when you will be adding. So, 
e raised to the power x will be equal to cos hyperbolic x plus sin hyperbolic x. And similarly, if you are taking away, if you are subtracting equation 2 from equation 1, then you will be calculating e raised to the power minus x. So that value will be cos hyperbolic x minus sin hyperbolic x. So our answer will be e raised to the power minus pi over 2. So that value will be, you will write in place of x, we should write pi over 2. So cos hyperbolic pi over 2 minus sin hyperbolic pi over 2. If you will find out cos hyperbolic pi over 2 value, then that value will be equal to 2.5091. And sin hyperbolic pi over 2 is 2.3012. Once you subtract, your answer will come out 0 0.2079. So this is the value of iota raised to the power iota. You can find out this value directly by putting, see this pi, pi over 2 is in radian. So you can put, in, if you are using calculator, you can put here also, you will be getting 0 0.2079. So both ways you will be getting same answer. You can cross examine. I hope you got the point. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe right now. Thank you.